Hello, it's Michael Kölling again. Welcome back to our Contagion series. Um, I promised you that at some the next bit of functionality we're looking at is drawing multiple graphs, but I want to do one other thing first. The one thing I want to talk about before we look again at adding more functionality is a question of style. Coding style um, is something that is worthwhile thinking about as well. Um, in addition to correctness. Uh, we also want to write our code in a way that is readable, elegant, short, concise, um, in other words just nice code. And the bit I want to talk about is this initialization here of our population specifically because there is something here where we can write this code in a much nicer way. I have written this if statement in this way intentionally because this is the way to write this code that is most easy to understand for most beginners. And I also see my students write the code most often in this manner, where we're saying if this um, expression is true, then we set isolate to true and otherwise we set isolate to false. If you think about it, whenever you see this pattern where you have an if statement with a condition here, and then in, the, in one case you set a boolean to true, in the other you set it to false, you can simplify this expression quite a bit. Because this expression here, that is in the condition of the if statement, is a boolean expression. So that is a boolean value. Here we are assigning a boolean value to this variable. So if this value is true, we assign true. If this value is false, we assign false. In other words, we could just assign this value. So I'm cutting this here now. And then I here um, delete this true and replace it with a condition that I had in the if statement. I can now delete the whole if statement and I can delete the whole else case as well. Um, so if I take this away here, um, this is what I'm left with. So I just have a single line where I have an assignment to my isolate variable uh, and as I assign this expression. If it is not immediately obvious to you why this works and what this does, think about it a bit. This expression on the right is a Boolean expression that gets evaluated and the resulting value gets assigned to this variable. If you think about it a bit, you will see um, quite easily that this actually achieves exactly the same thing as the if statement before. And what's more, because we have only a single uh, assignment to this local variable, we can now declare the local variable here. I had declared it up here before because um, it was used twice for the assignment, but now I can write the declaration of the variable here um, so that it is just much shorter, much more elegant and much more concise. If you think about it, you can, um, you could um, make it even simplified even more, make it even more concise by taking this expression and copying that um, expression directly into the actual parameter for the person um, constructor. If you do this, you don't in fact have to use any local variable at all. Um, so if your goal were just to write this code in the minimum number of lines, that's another further change you can make. Um, then we don't even have to declare the isolate local variable here. On the other hand, what I've said before, I want to reiterate, conciseness, that is the shortness of, of code, writing a code in the minimum num number of lines, is not the goal generally. The goal is to write your code as clearly and as readable as possible. And I think by giving this value a name, because by assigning it to a variable I'm giving it a name, it is a little bit more uh, obvious to a reader what this value is used for and what it does, what its meaning is. So I will leave my variable here because I think it actually expresses a little bit better what's going on here. That's all for today. I will see you next time.